What's up everybody? Welcome back to a new Diving Life tutorial. And today we're gonna talk about parallel processing. So I have always two chains in my uh, setup, which is this guy here, the Redoptor and the Euromix compressor. And I'm gonna turn them off and show you how the music sounds without. And then I'm gonna turn them on like 16 beats further, all right? Without and with. So what's happening here? Because it makes your beat sound way thicker. So let me mute all the other stuff. And let me put the shakers also in the head group. This can be a bit softer. So what am I doing here? I'm sending, as you can see, all the hi-hats, all the claps, and the kick for a part to the distortion channel. That's this guy where it says Redoptor. This is called parallel distortion. So I have a distortion unit, which is 100% wet. It's from D16 Group. I love that plugin. Uh, it's called the Redoptor. You can pick it up for, I think, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. And it's Black Friday, so probably they have deals going on. And this is actually the preset hot rod where it starts with. And then I slightly adjusted um, the, the tube drive options to sort of like tune it a bit. Uh, then here's a parametric EQ. So you can actually take away the high end to make it less digital, boost the mid a bit, and I don't need any low end. And then just if you have this. So listen to the high end especially. You can hear it's way more sort of like digitally, like t -t -t -t, you know? And then when this comes in, So you can do this with Redoptor uh, from Sound Toys, or maybe also with the Saturator in Ableton, or maybe with a little bit of Overdrive in Ableton as well. So you don't really you don't really need the external plugins, but yeah, you know these type of things, yeah, make it pretty easy because they have really nice presets that you can use uh, in order to uh, to create this sort of like distorted feel, like you have more of say yeah, let's say analog, but. You know, it's just a bit more raw and it really suits this sort of like sound, you know. You can really hear it gets more chuck, 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 which is nice. Then the other, the other parallel processing channel is Euromix, which is the Euromix compressor made by Patrick Sieg and Per Harmar. And they have a bunch of uh, compressors, which you can turn off when you have this insanity button here. And it's just parallel compression, but it's controlling all these compressors. And you see it's pretty madness. And actually what it does, it, it's actually uh, compressing the shit out of your uh, music, you know? So you sent, I sent all the hats, all the snares, all the clap, and a little bit of the kick. And it sounds ridiculous, you know? You can also use a bit more of the attack, maybe a bit more snappier. So you can have it moving, like really this sucking effect. And this sucking effect is really important. I usually usually use the release at a point that it's it's really like like ducking a lot. And then you can add this in. I usually use not too much. I, I, I have this fader here for the scent so I can actually dial it in. And this is the essence of parallel processing, you know, that you have a certain beat going, you send some sounds to a compressor on the return channel, so you have it parallel. So you can compress the shit out of it and then use your fader, the volume fader, to adjust it to taste. So when you turn them off and on, it just adds this little beef. And this is the way to get super fat and full drums, you know? And you can think of many other ways, you know? You can maybe make an extra return channel, uh, add some Haas effect, like a delay on there, send some hi-hats there, so these hats on that channel will be super wide and you can add that in 
to taste, you know? So these are like parallel pr uh, processing tricks uh, that you can use. Uh, for me, it's very valuable. I have them in my standard template when I start making music because then I can already send and have sort of like this chunky kind of sound already when I'm making music, which is for me very valuable uh, when making music that I'm getting into the vibe. So, uh, so this track sounds nice and, and big. So, I uh, hope you like this tutorial. Uh, follow me on the YouTube channel, of course. Share it with your friends. Check out the Facebook community, Lessons in Life. Check out the Discord of Lessons in Life, which you will find um, in the description below. Uh, check out my courses. I've got beginners, advanced, and intermediate courses going on. I've got new courses starting in January, so check it out. We've got Black Friday deals at the moment, so you pay way less than normal. And um, yeah, you can get in touch for private lessons as well. Uh, check out the Dive in Life streams I did with all the artists. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this platform. Stay in touch and um, see you soon.